Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 239. Uh, splitting a string into descending consecutive values. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So, this problem was a lot. A, let's just say it's very hard for Q2, to be honest. Um, and if you look at the performance times, you can kind of see that even the top performers took a, a relatively long time on this one. Um, oh, that's me. Um, to be honest, like if you look down the list, a lot of people have made mistakes on this one. So it's a harder than it seems for a Q2. And these are, you know, some of the smartest people, you know, like really good people, right? So, um, so yeah, so this is a hard one. For me, I actually, to be honest, when I started looking at it, I, I had no idea how to do it. But I think just looking at, at the examples and then I, the only thing that I got a little bit lucky was I looked at constraints. The constraint is, 20 and what does that mean that means that you can do a 2 to the 20 algorithm um so the first thing to notice is that if you're given any string um the way to tokenize it is that you know you can think about between each digit there's a thing right a divider and then for each divider you have two decisions use or don't use right use or don't use um, so, th so this one use or don't use, th this one use or don't use, this one use or don't use, and so forth, right? If you, so now that you know that, and you know that for 20 digits, there'll be 19 dividers in between, you know, not 20 digits, right? And because of that, and each of these have two, two, uh, paths, this is going to be, Two to the oops, two to the n minus one times if you want to be precise, but it's just or oh, two to the n, and since n is equal to twenty, this is good enough, um, because you can create every partition of the string, um, which allows you to do it, um, basically brute force, um, and because once you now realize this thingy, then you can just implement it brute force in any way you you can, as long as you don't do anything too silly. Um, and that's basically the idea I have here. I didn't actually implement this two to the end, uh, way, but this is the worst case scenario. It cannot be reached that easily given the constraints if you do a little bit of optimization. And that's what I did. So what I do now is that I just look at the first digits. Uh, so one thing to mind is that you need at least two of these. So I kick it off by, by using all the digits except for the last one. Uh, so, so I use first. I use one digit. I use two digits, and I use three digits, and I use four digits, and so forth. So I use all except for the last one, and then I go on that index. And then on that index, uh, if I'm able to reach the end, then that means I'm good. Yay! Happy, happy, happy. Um, otherwise, you know, um, I have the last number here. And basically, I just brute force again, going, you know, use one digit, if, uh, use two digit, use three digit, use four digit, and so forth, and then see if that Z goes to one minus the previous number, which is what, you know, the problem is asking for. And if that's the case, I just do a recursion on it. Um, and, and because, because if you think about each branch and how it, um, I know that the, the, this looks way awkward than the other way of, uh, what, what um, you know, it looks different than what I said about the two to the n. Um, but because each path of this division can only be visited once or uh, be split twice, it's still going to be at worst two to the n. Um, of course, in the in the real world, um, it's going to be really hard to do that because even like we have like ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three to one, then you know, it doesn't go all that much, and also. Because we terminate early, um, because we terminate early, uh, it, it does. You know, it gets filled out very quickly. So yeah. So even though this is still the worst case, um, and this worst case allow us to kind of prove that it is going to be fast enough, but in reality, it runs even faster than that. So yeah, uh, my talking canon is a little bit off because I'm a little bit still recovering from the vaccine. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Oh yeah, wait, no, actually, you could watch me solve a live during the contest. Next. Oh, and in terms of, I, uh, let me, actually, I forgot about space. So space is just going to be stack. So it's going to be O of N because this stack can go N deep, right? 
that's pretty much it. Uh, while time is, as we said, O of 2 to the n time, O of n space be, uh, f from stack. Yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Wow, what the... <clears throat> That's the big thing. I wasn't sure about that one to be uh, Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope you stay good, stay healthy, stay well. Uh, and yeah, take care of yourself. And yep, stay good and to good mental health. See you next time. Bye-bye.